All right, Bubba Sawyer. I owe you this video, bro. Just picked this saw up today. Put it together. Man, I love it, dude. I'm just gonna get do a spin around it first. It's got a 36 inch bar on it. Got the, uh, the saw is family script on it. Dog spikes, big as shit. Which, for a saw like this, it's beautiful. Some people like Picasso. Some people like Whistler's mother. This is my Picasso. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Something like this is beautiful. And I know you feel the same way. The blade, chrome dipped. Absolutely perfect. You can see your hand is just beautiful. The craftsmanship in this blade is perfect. Paint job, that is a deep, rich, chrome paint job, which looks fantastic. Highly polished handlebar. The brass on it is just highly polished. The maker of this saw is Neil Oliver. In my opinion, he makes the best Excalibur saws on the damn planet. I haven't seen anybody come close to this. Right here, you also have a rich chrome paint job. It's a little darker than the front that you see. Just a tad darker on the air filter cover. Fantastic job. It's got the leather handle. It's got the brass down there on the hand guard. Man, just this saw is just beautiful, dude. I can't I couldn't ask for anything better, dude. I had to add the black rose, a little bit of the uh floral pattern. Man, it just looks badass, dude. This is, as you can see here, that's the plaque, the Excalibur Tinker Special Edition. Um, Neil only built one of these. And man, I tell you, he, I, I can't thank him enough for giving me the opportunity to own this. Um, things happen in life where stuff's gotta change, you gotta move on. Luckily, I had the chance to to be there to to grab this thing, dude. I've been, you know, I've had a fantasy over this thing since I was a kid, man. And uh, show you these dog spikes. The dog spikes have got detail from the movie. Dark spots, just like the movie. You know, the brass on the sides and the top are highly polished. Um, the chain, uh, I don't know if it's just because the chain's too thick. It's not quite fitting all the way inside the bar on the, uh, on the, uh, the grooves. So I'm going to go with a uh, thinner chain. And I'm also going to skip, skip links. Um, but I just threw this together just tonight. You know, because I was freaking flipping out because I got it. But, uh, yeah, dude. That's it, man. Freaking beautiful, dude. The saw is family, baby. I will own this thing to my deathbed. I shit you not. Oh, that is just a sexy beast. Look at that. Oh, sexy.
muffler extremely ported man I just want to show you that that's just the beginning video the uh, the actual bar on it that's uh, Neil Oliver's one-off bar that's his design right now it's uh, a pattern that's stuck on right now is in the works of actual uh, and doing engravings uh, the blades are so hard it's you it's it's been kind of tough from what Neil said to get it just right but it's finding other methods to get a deep you know a deep polished look inside the bar and supposedly those are going to be ready soon as soon as those are done they're going to send them to the chrome shop and bet your ass I'm going to be grabbing one of those because that's going to finish this thing off perfect but I uh, just want to get your uh, thoughts on it man and see what you what you thought dude I mean even the bottom of it is even that chrome paint job so everything about it's mint and there's that leather handle again it's awesome extremely comfortable on off choke all that Neil, if you get a chance to see this video, bro, words cannot tell you how badass this thing is. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. Um, I'm going to make more videos once I change a couple things. But uh, please let me know what you think, dude. You know, I'm thrilled to have this thing. But uh, hopefully I get some feedback from anybody who sees this video. Thanks a lot.